Hello everybody and welcome back to Strange Voodoo TV. I'm Buddy Strange and as you may have noticed, <laughs> this is not a gaming video. And while I wanted to put a gaming video out, the schedule of this past week that I was talking about in my pick'em video kind of prevented me from picking up a controller at all <laughs> and even playing the slightest bit of anything that I wanted to play. Even for personal play, I couldn't find the time to do that. And the thing went a little longer than I realized as well. But I don't want to bore you with the details but I do want to say that you will be getting a gaming video next week and quite possibly even an earlier one over the weekend I'm thinking <laughs> and that weekend one will also I'm hoping as well as the regularly scheduled gaming video on Monday or Tuesday <laughs> and that is if I can get my ass into the right gear after this past week <laughs> also expect the regular wrap up and pick em video on Friday as well which guessing is tomorrow by the time I've edited this on Friday. <laughs> but all that being said, I have something special for you today. Since I did want to get a video out, I was able to get this one out and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited to introduce to you where I believe the AAF, the Alliance of American Football, needs to expand to in the next five years of its existence, which I hope <laughs> it lasts long enough to do that and even longer because I am loving this league for sure. It is awesome and I'm glad it's around and I hope <laughs> I hope you're glad too. I hope you're enjoying it for sure. So as you know the AF currently has eight teams in eight different cities in eight different states. They do not have any teams in the same state which I think is awesome to start. I mean I could see some of the bigger states or more populated states getting multiple teams in the future and some on this list actually have that aspect as well. But anyway it's a great start for the AF. I believe it was the right move to start with a, a small amount of teams, eight teams, not a big league, because you always have the ability to expand and grow, but in the beginning, you don't want to be having to spend a bunch of money on a lot of different things, especially the amount of uniforms, the amount of players you have to pay, the amount of coaches, all that, the stadiums you have to license, you know, team names you have to like, all that you have to license, licensing fees out that wazoo, it's just, all that's crazy, so I'm glad they kept it small so they could build, have a nice firm base to build off of and grow within the next five to ten years once they prove themselves. But anyway, let's imagine in my scenario, the AAF, they come to me and they're like, Mr. Strange, to which I reply, just call me buddy. <laughs> then they go, buddy, where should we expand to? What cities would be perfect for the AAF and why? Also, hey buddy, what would you name them? <laughs> to which I would say, what? Why don't you watch my YouTube video that I posted three years ago. <laughs> now, I would give them 10 cities complete with a choice of three team names that they could choose from. You know, it's always good to have a little bit of a choice. Also with this, I, I want you to feel free to comment down below while you watch this video or after this video. If you have any cool ideas or have something to expand on, on one of mine, you are certainly welcome to do that for sure. But uh, that being said, let's get started with the first one. And th these are not really in any particular order of importance or preferability but let's get started all right first off honolulu hawaii oh boy are you kidding me that would be perfect they already have a stadium there football stadium that the nfl has abandoned i think it would be perfect the weather would be nice it'd be a little hard on traveling teams especially if memphis or atlanta or orlando had to go over there or birmingham had to travel out there but i still think it would be awesome to have a team in Hawaii, a pro football team in Hawaii, and some of the name choices that I would have, feel free to add some of your own, <laughs> but uh, the Islanders, the Lava Men, and the Pride, I'm personally, my favorite would be the Pride, the Honolulu Pride, or the Hawaiian Pride, something like that. But I love this concept of pro football in Hawaii, I think it would be perfect to have a pro football team off mainland America, and I don't really, <laughs> I wouldn't put one in Alaska, I wouldn't go that far. But Hawaii seems like a good choice, being that they already have a stadium there that they're not using and could use. I think it'd be perfect. All right, number two is going to be Charlottesville, Virginia, where currently the University of Virginia is, I believe. Names for this team would include the Charlottesville Commodores, the Virginia Vipers, or the Charlottesville or Virginia Hitmen. I really like the Commodores as the option there, but no, I think Virginia would do well with a pro football team. 
Charlottesville is a good city to have one. It's a college city. You'll get lots of college fans that are excited to have pro football in their city, in their state. I think you'll have a lot of good crowds there. I think it's a good option. I don't know. I just, it seems like a, the right choice. <laughs> so Charlottesville, Virginia as option number two. Option number three is going to be Boulder, Colorado, home of Colorado University. It's right next to Denver. It's got good potential for good football. The people in Colorado love their football. I know they do. And rather than putting it right in Denver, put it in a nice, homely, nice little small town of Boulder, which is also like the last one, like Charlottesville, a college town. CU, again, is there. So you can also, you know, have that college fan tie. People who are missing college ball or even Denver Bronco football, they can go to these games and be able to enjoy football in the spring. Team names for this might include the Boulder Bisons, the Colorado or Boulder Desperados, or a classic, which this would be kind of stealing from <laughs> John Elway and the Arena Football League, but uh, this is a disbanded team anyway. The Colorado Crush, <laughs> if you remember that one way back in the day when Arena Football was a little bit bigger than, <laughs> than it is now, or actually probably, <laughs> well, a whole lot bigger than it is now. Uh, the Colorado Crush, which is a playoff, the, the Broncos defense being the crush back in the day. I think this would be a good option. That's the perfect team name, I think, for them. And I'd put it in Boulder and just call it a day, call it a good team. And I think for the things I've mentioned, College Town, proximity to Denver is pretty good. I think I, I think it's a no-brainer to put an AAF team in Boulder, Colorado. All right, next up, number four is going to be Austin, Texas. Yes, another Texas team in a city that I would think would have a football team right now, but they don't. It's all Houston and Dallas. But anyway, Austin, Texas, one of the biggest cities in Texas, would get a professional football team, which they need, which would give San Antonio and Austin, Texas pro football teams, which is awesome because I'll, another thing that I like about the AEF is there aren't really teams in cities that the NFL is currently in. I, I, you have Atlanta and <laughs> you would have had San Diego but, and you might still have San Diego if the Raiders have to play down there but other than that you don't really have an NFL team competing with an AAF team in the same city outside of Atlanta I'm really glad that they did that so you give other people other you know people wanting football who may not have it in their city or can't get to it because it's not close enough you give them professional football and a chance to go to your games and that's just one a smart move because you know you get a lot of fans that way and two it's a smart move because now you're not competing in the same markets and I mean I, I think that's cool I, I like that I mean I agree you should have some like in Atlanta or maybe a Chicago or New Orleans or you know whatever a San Francisco you know something like that that that's fine to have some overlap but I'm glad that mo most of it isn't overlapping in NFL cities and I think that's a great move by the AF so anyway <laughs> the three team names I would have for the Austin Texas team would be the Austin Assassin the Austin Animals and the Austin Alley Cats. You know Alley Cats, they're fierce. They give it all they got for that scrap of food in that back alley. But anyway, I don't know. I, I'm personally leaning towards the Assassins even though that's a little violent and I don't know if Family Friendly League can do that. But I think it's a good name and I could see it happening and I think it'd be a smart move to put another team in such a big state to, you know, help get other people invested in the AAF in such, you know, again, a big state. So Austin, Texas gets a team. All right, number five, California getting another team. Yes, Sacramento, California, the capital of California getting their own team. Sacramento, I think it's got a basketball team and I think it could use a professional football team and I think the AF would be perfect for it. Some of the team names I thought up is the Sacramento Swarm, the Sacramento Sages, or the California Riot or Sacramento Riot. You could interchange them there, but I like, I like the Swarm personally, although all three of them aren't that bad. The Riot's pretty good. Riot's pretty broad. You don't have to <laughs> really think about it that much, but I, I think Sacramento needs a professional football team and, you know, again, California's a big state like Texas. It could use some diversification some and multiple teams. It can help them grow and reach a broader audience, get more people in the stands, you know, get more people invested, again, invested in the AF, and I think that would help your reach in California. Also, I, I didn't include this. This is nowhere on the list, but if we're also talking 
fucking California. Maybe, maybe even a Pasadena or something. You, you know, something like that. I, I don't know. Although that is also Southern California, and you, you know, San Diego, Pasadena. You probably don't want to do that, but you know, something to think about. Anyway, Sacramento, California, getting a team. All right, number six, Columbia, South Carolina, adding to the run of Southern teams that are part of the AF. I think Columbia, South Carolina would be really good because I think one of the Carolinas needs a professional team, and you know, North Carolina has the Panthers in Charleston, so I think Columbia, South Carolina, which is also a pretty big city in itself, home of the Gamecocks, <laughs> which is you know another college town, another stadium that they can use if they need it. Uh, college town, you know, college towns, they love their football. If their teams, <laughs> if their teams worth watching, they love football. But you know, in general, um, they like watching the games, going to the games, enjoying that. And I think you know, you, you could even bring up some of the Carolina Panthers fans, or I guess have them come down <laughs> to Columbia, South Carolina to watch one of the three being the Columbia Crusaders, the Columbia Cheetahs, not to be confused with the New England Patriots. No, that's, just, that's a joke. Anyway, <laughs> or the South Carolina Showboats, which I'm actually kind of in favor of that one. I, I don't know. I, I really like it because South Carolina, that's kind of two parts. And even though Showboats is one word, you know, it's two different words as well. I think it has a good rhythm to it. Good alliteration kind of, <laughs> kind of, you know, South and Show. Anyway, that would be a good team name, I think. And, you know, you can get X panthers players. You can you can reach from the pool of the Gamecocks or the Tar Heels or hell, you even got Clemson. So <laughs> it's a pretty good group of players that this team can choose from. Plus, I'm pretty sure people around that area will flock to the games and enjoy every minute of it. All right, next up is going to be Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And you may, may be like, what? But I mean, they do have a professional basketball team. And I just think it would be almost a football sin if we didn't have AAF football in Wisconsin in some form or fashion somewhere. I mean, Madison, Green Bay, De Pere, Milwaukee, Ashwaubenon, any any of those, <laughs> any of those places uh, would be perfect. But I think Milwaukee is the best place to have it since you can diversify. You don't need it in Green Bay. They already got that locked out. You don't. <laughs> you don't need another professional team in Green Bay. Madison would be also a good choice, I think, but I don't know. For some reason, I think Milwaukee is just perfect. And for the three names, I would say the Milwaukee Maulers, good solid name, got that alliteration going. Uh, the Milwaukee Mavericks or the Milwaukee Evergreens. I think all three of them are pretty universal and, and maybe not Evergreens because, you know, that's kind of a Northern thing anyway, which is another reason why I think Wisconsin and Milwaukee is a good choice. Even uh, Minnesota or Michigan would be good, but just to have a northern team, you know, someone to root for up there would be great to expand the AAF more north. I mean, right now the most northern team is in Salt Lake City and that's like, come on, really? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I think this team would be able to reach a far reaching fan base. I mean, you can get Packers fans, Minnesota fans, all these fans, you know, be able to unite Vikings and Packers. And bear well, That's never gonna happen. <laughs> but anyway, no. Uh, just a northern team, which, you know, I think would be able to, again, get more people invested and willing to watch and go to games. Because, I mean, if you're living in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, something like that, you're not going to want to go to Orlando, Birmingham, Memphis, you know, Atlanta, Arizona. <laughs> you're not going to want to do that. So I think to have a northern based team, at least just one, at least one would be a big step forward in growing the league and evolving the league and making the league better or I guess the Alliance better. <laughs> All right, next up at number eight, we've got Portland, Oregon. Okay, another North team, but we're going way west this time with this one, fellas and ladies. <laughs> we got Portland, Oregon. For this, I've got the Oregon Owls, the Portland Rain, the Portland Snowhawks. One of those three. I do like the Owls, Oregon Owls. That's pretty cool. I, I'm, I like alliteration and rhyming and all that stuff. So, <laughs> or Oregon Owls is pretty good. I like the Portland Rain as well, even though that's more of a uh, Seattle, Washington thing. Uh, it rains in Portland too. <laughs> but I like those names. And I like the fact that Portland, especially Oregon in general, even if it's in Eugene, gets some professional football because they're, you know, Eugene, Oregon, the Oregon Ducks, they're huge there. I mean, you could put it in Eugene and have basically the same effect. I put it in Portland because it's a little bit bigger of a city and I think it would be really good to have some football there. But uh, yeah, just Oregon in general needs some professional 
football. I mean, you got Washington State with a football team in Seattle. So I think you need to go a little bit down, but not too down to California. You need to hit it right in the middle, right in Oregon, give them a football team either in Eugene or Portland. I think that would help in growing the AAF Northwest region and just, you know, professional football in general. It'd be good to have another team out there that's not in California. <laughs> All right, number nine isn't an NFL city yet, but, you know, very soon will be in 2020. It's going to be an NFL city, but Las Vegas, Nevada, it would have been awesome to have a team this year. Like, haha, beat you, NFL. We got a team to Las Vegas before you did. Suck it. <laughs> but anyway, no, Las Vegas, Nevada, I think it'd be just fun to have a professional team that's not an established professional team in Las Vegas. Give Las Vegas something fun to root for and have fun with. And for this, it's it's going to be simple names like Las Vegas Gamblers, High Rollers, or the Las Vegas Pyramids. And, you know, the, the pyramid that they have there, that the glass pyramid or whatever. I'm leaning towards the Gamblers, but the Pyramids would be pretty fun too. High Rollers is, uh, I mean, it, it makes sense, but it's not my favorite. I, I, I like it, but it's not my favorite. Gamblers would be my favorite. Pyramids would be my second choice. I don't know. Something about the Pyramids. Uh, it's, it's fun. It's mysterious. You know, did the aliens build the team? Are they, you know, <laughs> are the aliens in charge? The Las Vegas Pyramids. Oh, what all the conspiracies surrounding the Las Vegas <laughs> Pyramid team. But no, the, the Gamblers probably would make the most sense. But, you know, a place like Las Vegas, I think, can handle two professional teams. It wouldn't be one of my first choices, but I still would like to see an AAF team in Las Vegas, and I kind of wish I didn't see the Raiders in Las Vegas. I wish they were staying in Oakland, but that, you know, that's a personal opinion on that. I'm not a big fan of that move. I understand it, but I'm not a fan of it personally. But uh, anyway, Las Vegas, Nevada gets an AAF team. All right, lastly, kind of, number 10, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And yes, they have professional basketball. Yes, they have this, that, and the other. But I just, I cannot understand. I cannot get it through my head why there's not a professional football team in Oklahoma City. There needs to be. And in this scenario, this would probably be my first choice if I were ranking them. Oklahoma City or Hawaii, one of the two. I, I really believe with all my being that there needs to be an Oklahoma City team. It's a big market. It's a good market. You'll get everyone from Kansas, everyone from Oklahoma, which is big into football, if you didn't know that. <laughs> Oklahoma State and Oklahoma are two of the biggest football colleges. And I don't know. I just think they need a team. And one of the names I will tell you right now can uh, might uh, you might find offensive and or uh, triggering or whatever. But here's your here's your uh, moment to flip away if <laughs> if you think it might. And I think you know where I'm going with that one. Anyway, the first name would be the Oklahoma Oranges. <laughs> I don't know. It, they're not big into oranges in Oklahoma, I think. But you know, a lot of their teams have orange as a color. So I don't know. And it's alliteration. I think I thought it was funny more than anything. But I. I think it also would be pretty cool. And also, you'd have an AAF team that's just a color, you know? Hopefully, they wouldn't suck as much as the Browns, but yeah, you never know. <laughs> anyway, the Oklahoma Oranges. Second, the Oklahoma Oracles. I think Oracles is a good name in general. It, it'd be kind of fantasy-like in a way, kind of like the Apollos are, the Orlando Apollos. I think it'd just be fun. That'd be the one I kind of lean to, I think. And then lastly, and here's the one, so last chance to flip away, the Oklahoma City Bombers. I don't know. There's just something about that that you can take something bad and disastrous and terrible and god awful and turn it into something better and good and then also it's I mean it's just it's a name it's not really you know it doesn't have to be in any way associated with the event itself I mean it's basically they're just an air attack game where they just throw bombs they throw it downfield a lot they have a big armed quarterback or something you know they can have a gimmick that goes along with it it's got a got a ring to it probably because of the event I I'll, I'll grant it that so it won't fully be untied from the event that happened but I don't know there's some there's something about it I do like the name but if I were to probably choose I mean it's no more offensive than the Washington Redskins which I don't think they should change their name anyway if they don't want to we need one at least one team with a little controversy come on guys <laughs> this wouldn't be a 
professional league if it didn't have at least one team that you were like, okay, let's start a petition. <laughs> but no, the Oklahoma City Bombers, Oracles, or Oklahoma City Oranges. <laughs> anyway, and then I said kind of at the beginning of that, you probably were like, what? But I do have kind of a 11th one, but I didn't want to truly include it. I only have two names for it, but uh, it's New Orleans and Louisiana. And the two names I have are the New Orleans Jazz and the New Orleans Voodoo. I had to include that because I was like, New Orleans Voodoo? That's Strange Voodoo TV? That's, oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> but anyway, the Voodoo and then the Jazz because, you know, that's a big jazz scene down there. Louis Armstrong and the like, you know. And Memphis already has a team and, you know, which I would have called the Memphis Blues, to be honest. But, you know, Express is fine as well. <laughs> but anyway, the New Orleans Jazz Voodoo has kind of a just missed the cut. Anyway, that is going to be it for us here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, if you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Any cities, any team names. Uh, what was your favorite team name from my list? Uh, what was your favorite city from my list? Anything like that. Would you name any of my teams differently from the cities that I picked? Anything. You know, throw a few of you out there. You know, the Buffalo Wings or, you know, the Philadelphia Freedom or Philadelphia Cheesesteaks or the Philadelphia Liberty Bells or, you know, I don't know why I picked Philadelphia. <laughs> I, I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm watching uh, the Orlando San Antonio game again on, I'm recording this on Tuesday and I'm rewatching it because it was a good game. Oh man, it was a good game. Anyway, Philadelphia popped on the screen on the bottom of the CBS <laughs> ticker. Anyway, that being said, I do want to hear from you. I really want to hear from you in the comments. So please hit it up down in the comments. Anything suggestion wise that you have. But anyway, I'm Buddy Strange. This is Strange Brew TV. Keep it strange, people. I'll see you in the next one and peace out.